Mum's Die here from Die's Den and this week I'd like to show you how I made this card. I'm calling this a double fold front card and it does stand up as you can see. It's just really pretty and it's mainly using a bit of designer series paper and card. So we're going to do this with some retired products because I'm still waiting on my Christmas things. So let's pop that on one side for a second, just there, so you can see it. And I'll show you what we're going to be using. We're going to be using, and these are all retired, this set here. And we're going to be using the one that says, May the Yuletide season be filled with joy. Then we're going to be using this one called Lots of Celebration for the season's greeting and lots of love and the snowflakes. And we're using these dies, which I'm not sure whether they're on the online exclusives or whether they have been retired as well. So um, these are called Everyday Detail Dies. I couldn't see them in the catalogue, so they might be retired, I'm not sure. But we're using these ones, we're using the second size, the, the smallest, the second size and the third size, not the bigger one out of those, to do our circles with. So as I'm doing this in a, as a Christmas card and the, the DSP that I'm using is retired but it's a great way if you've got DSP to use some of it up and I'm going to be stamping in Garden Green and Balmy Blue so let me show you what you need and it's not a real lot believe it or not let me pop that card on one side I'm also going to be using some of these dots these are from quite a few years back too but I want to use up some of these old things I've got get rid of them, well not get rid of them but you know use them up rather than just sitting there so this is all we're going to need so it's not a real lot so you're going to need a, the main card is a piece of card that measures five and seven eighths by four and one eighth and then we need a piece of designer series paper that measures eleven and seven eighths by five and five eighths now if you've got a directional paper this one's not directional you do need to watch how you put it in when you're cutting it because you want it the lengthwise so you want like a panorama view and when you're scoring it you need to make sure you've got it round the correct way for scoring otherwise your pattern's going to be the wrong way around I'll show you what I mean with this card here these owls are like all facing the same way so I had to make sure I put it into the into the um, scorer with the correct way so that I would score it so this was facing the correct way okay so then you're going to need a piece of a writing panel this measures five and one eighth by three and three eighths then you're going to need two circles and I've got these circles but just plain circles will do the deckled circles would be nice as well or any fancy ones if you've got them so you want two that are about two and a half inches two that are two inches and I'm using some green that is retired and this is um, glitter paper and then two more that are one and a half inches so that's all the bits we're going to need. It's not a real lot, is it? So let me bring in my scorer. So, and my scoring tool. So as I don't have a paper that is the wrong, you know, a directional, it doesn't matter. But if I did, I would need it so that it's sat this way. So when you're facing it, your pattern is the correct way for you. Okay. And we're going to score this using the large ball this time because we're actually scoring on designer series paper. And we're going to score at two inches. Now, I do like to do this twice so that I can actually feel them. Four inches. Six inches. And eight inches. And that's all the scoring we're going to do. How about that? Not much at all, is it? Okay, so with our 8 inch side on our right hand side, we're going to fold that one over so you can actually see the fold lines better on the back. So we're going to make sure that when we fold this over, it is lined up nicely. It's 
top and bottom like so we want it to be nice and square then the next fold is going to be the opposite way and once again you want to make sure that it's nice and square I've got a big hair on my chest okay then we're going to bring the other one back over so this should now line up with this edge here as well as the top and the bottom and we're going to fold that and we want to make sure these are burnished down nice and hard and then the last one over this way and you shouldn't have anything showing because it should be if you've scored it correctly that it all sits on top of each other so we need it to be mountain valley mountain valley if we're looking at it like this and that's our card so we're going to give this a good burnish on both of those lines and both of these ones here like so so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our glue and we're going to hope that with all this cold weather it's going to run okay and between our two and four line we're going to put some glue come on come out it doesn't want to work i should have checked all of this before i started i think it's been so cold here we've had like one degree in the morning it is freezing and we're going to turn that over and fold that down and give that a good squish so that's down nice and tight now and then we're going to do exactly the same between the next ones so we've got our score line there that's done and we're going to put some glue on the next one oops and close that down the same we're going to give that a good press as well so we've got our card looks like this now it's quite dirty in these two places which is what we want it to be so we're going to give that a really good squish down and we're going to bring in our main card base piece and we're going to glue that to that this is a fairly quick card too i wanted to do some simple cards for you all so that's why this month has got some simple cards in it as you can see because not everybody is, um, has been making cards for a long time. Some people were new at it and I thought this is a great way. This is a great way for you to use up old designer series paper that you've got. And it's also a great way to make a card that doesn't take a lot of, of um, product. So there we go, we've got our main card and it stands up like so. So we're going to actually stamp our piece that goes in the middle first. So we'll pop that on to one side and we're going to stamp our words which say May the Yuletide, whatever it said, I can't remember now. Old words offhand. May this Yuletide season be filled with joy let's pop that one out of the way and we're going to bring in the balmy blue and we're going to stamp some of these lovely uh, snowflakes down the side there okay now that we've done that we're going to pop this into the card now you'll see that there's a large border all the way around and that was intentionally done because we want the emphasis to be on the rest of the card and because this is going to be such a simple quick card this is just really great you'll be able to make hundreds of these if that's what you do okay nice i'm going to turn that over and give that a good squish down as well okay so that is the inside of our card done so now we're going to bring in our circles 
and what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our white pieces of our circles with our words so we're going to bring in our garden green again and I'm going to stamp season's greeting one and lots of love on the other so that's that part done let's close that up so what we're going to do now is we're going to let them dry and we're not going to put them on until after so that we know that we've got them in the correct place now what oops I thought I had one with the, I hadn't popped out the hole we're going to pop this some glue on the back of the second circle and place it into the center of that one. We're going to do that with both of those. Okay. And we're going to bring these in and we're going to pop one on the front and one inside. Now I'm going to bring them close together so that we can't see the words on the inside. Now I don't want to go over halfway so I'm just going to put some glue about probably one third of the way around my circle because I would much rather it be not enough than too much over. And you can check there to make sure that I don't have any glue moving before I push it down nice and hard. That way I know that I can get the other one straight in there like so. So we we'll just do the same on the other circle. And I'm going to pop that one into this section. And once again, making sure that I've got a bit of glue there sticking through the hole that I'm close to the other one but not over it so that it can't um, open properly. Once I'm happy with that just double check it. If I've got a light there I've got a little bit of glue showing and I don't want that to show. And we can make sure we get that out of the way. Okay so we've got our, glue, our circles glued on. We can now put our pin in the glue Get in the glue, you. Get in there, that's it. And we're going to pop these up on dimensionals. Oh, there they are. I thought I had my hand on them and then I thought, no, I didn't, and then I did. I've only got some little ones here. So I'm going to put four on the back of these. Like so. And I'm going to put the season's greeting one on the front, making sure it's down nice and hard. And I'm going to pop the lots of love on the next one in. That's why it's good not to put these on until you've done it, because that way you know you've got this circle up the correct way. Okay, so that's that done, and all we're left to do now is get our little tool out here and we're going to put on some little ones so we're going to use these green ones whoops put one in the middle there one in the I've got to put one there I think and one more up the top there and that's our card for today well that was a really quick and easy card what do you think? I think it's very, very effective. Let me bring in the other one. So you can see that I did this one again with all retired products, um, including the stamp set again, which was retired. And it just, I don't know, it's just easy, quick, and yet very effective. It stands up on its own. It lays flat to put in the post. And you have, for different reasons, different seasons, so I hope you've enjoyed today's card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other videos. And please leave me a comment. I do actually answer all the comments, even if it's just to say thank you. 
and if you'd like the written tutorial for this head down here to the bottom here and you will find the link to Die Stamp for Stamping, Crafting and Tutorials. That's my Facebook group page. And you'll find the written tutorial for this, which goes live on the same day. And hopefully by the next video that I do, we will have some of our Christmas products to be able to work with. I'm still waiting for them. I'm still waiting. But the, you've got to remember that the catalogue doesn't come out until September anyway. So... I guess it is only August and early in August, so I will see you again next week. Bye for now.